we go. There we go. Okay. So I think we're ready to get into this. How y'all doing? You ready to break some ships with me? Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, actually, we, that's right too. Right before the, like, end of the stream last night, um, we were, we were looking at, uh, demolition charges. So that's, a that's exciting new thing that we're probably gonna be doing. Just got one input buffer, so, uh, whatever direction you hit last, it'll try to go in. Okay, gotcha. All right. So that's another night. Oh, that's me. I wonder if that spells anything. Like thinking like on a phone pad what that would spell. I don't know. Nine. I don't know. Oh god, copy and paste did not work out. Didn't even get your score. <laughs> But I liked what it did. Clearly we just have to paste it back into the game and it'll tell us where our score is. Nobody knows. Devil Survivor Enjoyer, what were you up to? What are you playing? How's things going? So this ship is done. Oh, maybe we aren't going to do demolition next. Well, frosty. Uh, ooh, sand. The saucy oceaness. The Saucy Ocean is too. Your name is uh, difficult to shout out. <laughs> um, mackerel. Uh, what are we looking at? You know what? Well, I think honestly, let's just do it. Let's do the next big ship. Y'all, y'all ready for this? Okay, so we have a class two reactor. So we should probably look at look at what we're look. We should look at it and make sure we understand what we're gonna be dealing with. So. Um, is there a prop rolled I missed? I suddenly just had like a feeling that there was a prop rolled. Like two, it was two hours ago. It's a lemon. Okay, never mind. Okay, just making sure. It was, aw. I was playing Devil Survivor as the name implies. Fair. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's our fishing hat. Yeah. Uh, where is my fishing hat? This is... That's a fishing hat. There's the fishing hat. There. There we go. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, how you doing? Okay, so we got a class 2 reactor, we got a power cell, we got an ECU, and we got a thruster, cla thruster class 2? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. So, how y'all doing? Y'all ready for this? Let's start a new ship. Gucci? Oh, very good. Yeah. <sighs> mm. ah, big yawn. Okay, our, oh, we need tethers. Welcome to Mendotron 9000. Have a nice day. You have a nice day. Oh my god, the ship is so big. <gasps> it's so big. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. Um. Oh my goodness. Okay, what should we do first? Um, let's just scope this thing out. Can't see uh, the hat without thinking the squimpillies. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, so we have, we have, this is a, this, this is a big ship. The big one. Okay, so this is all goes into the barge. Let's start here. Damn, this is a big ship. Um, <laughs> right into the barge. There we go. Bonked it a little bit, but that's okay. Oh my god, I didn't realize the ships would even like this is so large. Applying credits. Okay, another one. 
Okay, so we're taking the tips off of it. Um, let's see what are we what are we deal with. Okay. Wow, it's so big. There's so many fuel tanks. Look at this thing is just. <laughs> Remember the last ship I was working on, and the fact that like it had one of these, and I was panicked. It has like six of them now. Uh, I know Link says safety third, but I recommend safety first. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking safety first might be an op uh, like a good idea right now. Okay, let's see if we can remove one of these. See if this will. If this is something we can do, because the less explosive things we have floating around, the better. Oh god. I'm just like, I'm just gonna like loosen them and see if it, if it takes. Okay. Holy crap. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that seems like it is connected on that side. It's is it coming loose? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Might be another like contact point somewhere. Please don't tell me there's one in the middle. Okay, good. Okay. Um we could probably try and pull it. Let's see, oh this is gonna tip the whole ship. No, it's it's coming loose. It's they're just like they're like pivoted on this like thing. Okay, there. Okay, just help it along. All right. Okay. Get it going that way. Okay. I'm waiting until I'm actually lined up to take out my <laughs> take out my laser on this. Yeah. I hate how many sparks are hitting that tank. Okay, so we got a few few of these to do, but this isn't this isn't so bad. Anyway, so how y'all doing? Hope you all excited for this big ship we're gonna break. Doing well? Good. Ah, oh, that meal was so good earlier though. I've been like hungry for days, so it felt really good to just eat like just have a good full meal. I'm gonna go for lunch tomorrow. Just, just like not, not for any particular reason, but all, all the ships must die. <laughs> okay, that's that's that side done. Wow, this ship is gonna take a while though. Like seriously, please don't tell me that's gonna miss. Okay, it's pulling it in. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, my iced tea came in the mail today, and I can't get right now, but I can't get right now. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, well, hey, there'll be something for tomorrow. Hey, Floppable, how you doing? Uh, okay. I don't think these these points are actually like a factor in this, but I'm gonna cut them anyways where where I'm here. I don't know what that sound was. <laughs> Didn't like it. Okay. Uh. Careful, you cut her on the durability soon. It can malfunction and cause damage to nearby objects. Oh, okay, good to know. Okay, what did I miss? We played a little bit of Floppy Nights. We talked about the state of play, and uh, we um, played a uh, Gardrick's game, uh, Slake, which um, I posted my score in announcements. Probably should repair repair this. 
Because this is kind of, if it decided to like explode or something, I would be in real trouble because I'm wedged between two, two explosive tanks. That would be bad. <sighs> okay. Yeah, can't brew chai at home, unfortunately. My partner is allergic to cinnamon. Oh, that's a bad allergy. I've never heard of an allergy to cinnamon. I mean, of course, I understand that it's a thing, but uh, yeah, it's pretty uncommon, I guess. Or at least I would assume it's uncommon. I've never. Uh, sounds like a productive stream. Yeah, it's been OK. I, I was late today, though, because I had to um, gorge myself and then go into a carb coma for two and a half hours. I'm going to fix my like fix my gun, though. I'm going to repair it because I'm I'm a little worried about it, like sparking because we're working on dangerous stuff. And you know what? Safety first tool repair kit. How do how do I use my tool repair kit? Inventory repair kit. Oh, I guess I guess I didn't have to buy it on the screen. Um, inventory repair kit. Oh, no. I don't know how to use my tool repair kit. I just realized that. Actually, you know what? Switch to it. Scanner, helmet. I'm unsure. Yeah. You can give me a heads up on that. Love this hat. Thank you. Need it. <laughs> okay, so we've taken off the main main tanks, so that's a good sign. That should be all done. So uh, processing the Street Fighter is now an open world game. I think it's I think it's a good thing. I think it's something that will bring in more people that might not typically be into fighting games, but are like because here's the thing. Most fighting games str have struggled to reach that like casual like demographic or, you know, the demographic. They they're only tapping the same demographic over and over. So like bringing something new to the plate, having having a good full single player experience is something that a lot of fighting games actually would really benefit from. So I think it's a it's a good idea. Yeah, a couple of modern controls. Yeah, I think it's I think honestly, I'm not going to lie. I think Street Fighter six is already off to a really good start. Uh, I think the game looks interesting. They're pulling mechanics from Street Fighter three, four and five. Uh, so they're look like at least from like a glance, they're like they're being considered for like casual players, but they're also giving players lots of tools to work with, which I think there is this miss like there's this uh like idea that exists with fighting games that you have to like strip the game down to make it like more appealing to casual players i don't think that's right i think you can make a game have lots of things to dig into while still appealing to casual players so i think honestly they're doing it right uh so i'm really pleased to see what they've done with street fighter 6. i don't i'm admittedly i'm not crazy about the art style i love it when they do like their ex's or their uh, universal mechanics whatever they are uh the spray paint and when things go a little bit cell shaded i think that looks really tight uh otherwise like i think it looks a little dry to me but it's also quite early so that might be, get hammered out with time my first fighting game was five six looks beautiful yeah like I think that'll get hammered out with time. I love what they did with Ryu's design. I think Chung Li's design needs a uh, once over. Um, the other two characters are fine. Uh, and the third character that wasn't part of the main announcement, but is in the footage, uh, she looks cool. So if you want to appeal to casual players, uh, make everyone hot. Done and done. I mean, hot Ryu was like, that was a surprise success, I think, for Capcom. I don't think they realized that giving Ryu a beard was going to like actually ignite like interest in Street Fighter V. So I think giving him a beard on his main costume is smart in this game. So we need to start like scoping this thing out because this is a big ship. Um, we need to figure out how to get into the engine room. OK, there's an airlock right there. Let's we can't even access that because there's a fuel tank in the way. Can we pull these through the bottom? Let's take a look. So we're kind of in the we're in the section of, the, of this where we're just like sculpting, sculpting things out. We could pull this through the bottom, but we also want to eject the fuel. So there's probably a fuel ejection somewhere on this whole rig. Where it is exactly, I don't know. But oh, what is this? Is this the fuel flush valve? Nope. It's, hmm. What is this thing? Oh.
something. It's on there, whatever it is. Okay. I don't see a fuel flush. You're looking at roughly five minutes left in this shift. <sighs> Which makes it seem extra dangerous. I think we're gonna have to go through that way. I don't see a door on the actual body of it, so the doors are behind the fuel, which is awkward. Hmm. hmm. I mean, Strive, I saw they sold an addition with the Centrag, and I'm a metalhead, so... Yeah, like... I don't know, I think I think 6 is off to a pretty good start. We'll have to see how it plays, of course, because like that's ultimately what's going to be telling if the game is going to be good or not, but... Yeah. Um, you want to appeal to casual players, make everyone hot, then done. People eat with their eyes, visual appeal goes a long way. It's true. Yeah. Like, the, the visual like look of the game is important. It is a factor, for sure. Okay, you know what? We're going to cut these. We're going to see if these just drop loose. We don't hold our gun out for this stuff. We aim it, we switch to it, and aim it when we need it. Okay. But no, uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic for six. So what is holding these things together? Oof. Oh, good God. That is going to be really hard to hit without hitting anything around it. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh. There's like a little window right here where we can aim this. And just pray that we don't ignite these tanks. So anyways, um, we're not getting your level 7 goal. Ah. Whew. Okay, I needed oxygen anyways. I'm over it. Um, I don't know. I turned away for a minute. What did you do? Uh, nothing. I was gonna say strip the ion drive rings. It'd be safer. Safe. I don't even know what that sentence means. <laughs> Strip the ion drive rings? Strip them? What, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, so anyways, we found a way into the ship. Fuck. Okay, well... well salvage destroy, don't do that. Thank you for the advice. Okay, well... Uh, fire happened. Uh, they need you to give you a net. They do. Ah, oh, crap. That fucking sucks. Oh. This goes in the processor. Ah, uh, here we are again. Cleaning up. Well, shit. At least no reactor breach yet. Yeah. I tried to do my best. I was trying to be safe. Remember that time I died when the ship gently bumped into me? Yet I saw I took that explosion full like the brunt of that. So I feel I'm feeling kind of kind of invincible right now. Well, that sucks. Fuck. Jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> Fuck. Just gotta sort all this garbage now. Uh, that's a heartbreaker. Oh, uh, we're not gonna get our level 7 goals, that's... Well, uh, you did upgrade the suit, uh, like, slightly. Well, you know... 
that's a lesson. You know what? I, like, I don't know if my wet, like, if my like laser sparked and it caused that, or if I, if I shot through and hit like the, if hitting like the the tip of the thing, if I nicked it somehow. I don't even know what happened. It's rough. Eh, it is what it is. So, oh, there's like a bunch in there. Let's. We'll get at least a little bit of money if we, if we launch this stuff. Yeah, yeah, Artica, welcome. Yeah, yeah, code chat. We're on the side of the freeway out of gas. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, assistance is coming soon. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, the best thing you can do is call a garage and they'll drive good fuel out to you. Links would like to share the following message. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Yeah, uh, hey Baxter, what are you up to? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, smells like cow shit out here. Oh. Well, there you go. Uh, that's the side of the freeway for you. I hate these ships. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, okay, this we had a little accident and our ship kind of took a hit. We might have nicked the very explosive. See, it was really good. I removed the side containers first. See, it was important. Good on us. We correctly identified that we need to move those containers. So. Oh, wow. That was actually a fair amount for just a random piece of stuff. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit because, yeah, Javelin's stinky. <laughs> yeah. It's our first time doing one of these, so it was it's an experience. Well, it's not our first Javelin, but it's like our first like time doing a Javelin that's this big. Oh. Jeez. Yeah. Anyway, sorry everybody, I tried to do my best. Uh Goblin, how you doing? Oh, whoa, whoa. What's that? There we go. Sorry, I know this is like super uninteresting. This is my punishment for uh, trying to do good. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gecko's nice. <laughs> wow, we made such a fucking mess. Like, this is, this is bad. I mean, to be fair, we blew up like nine tanks of fuel, so checks out. Object accepted for processing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know if the door will work for this. Feeling ridiculously for jamming out so hard. I forgot how to car. Oh no. Uh, car fuel kind of a thing for some reason Javelin seemed like a bad ship design. Yeah, I know the doors were actually behind the fuel tanks. That was, that was like super bad Okay uh. Can we actually open the... Well, the doors are budged open now. Wow, I can't believe this didn't get hit. Let's take a look in here. Oh, the reactor's like right here next to the whole thing. Can we move along the top of it here? Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, we gotta... We got this, so we're gonna have to... Press your ejection switch, unpowered. I think we're supposed to hit this. On, oh, it's unpowered. Oh god, we have a lot of things we're gonna have to do. Oh, okay. Um, boy, this ship—we've already fucked this thing up, like bad. 
Okay, let's... Let's do some cuts here, so we can't, like, get the end of the ship moving a little bit. So... This will all hold in, but... Okay, we got a pipe in between these two things. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't have power because we blew up the tanks. Oof. That's bad. This is all bad. Let's go back to, like, cleaning up a little bit. <laughs> this is... Just like, uh, great. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Need need a space vacuum. We really do. They should really make something for this very specific task. There we go. Just uh, start suddenly slowing down, things beep, and when you do like a bajillion different things slightly wrong, it didn't make a single beep about the <laughs> being low fuel. Oh. Yeah. You know, it is kind of funny. You're right. They usually don't make any sound for being uh, low. Considering all the like alerts that cars have now, that is a funny one that. They don't have, or at least the cars that I've been in don't have it. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Processing object. Applying credits to account. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is like super uninteresting watching me just like slowly. Oh. Okay, well, let's. Oops. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. What a mess. What a mess. The worst part is, is like half the scrap goes to the furnace and half of it goes to the processor and it's like I can get some value out of it but I have to like sort it by hand. Can I do, just do it like this? Uh, that might help a little bit. That way I can tell what goes in the processor. Just at a glance without having to read it every time. Except I have to go out of that mode anyways. To you know what? It makes sense. Sort all the stuff that goes Let's into the processor. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Single piece of something that goes to the processor. Pepsi man. Oh god, I wasn't even thinking about compression related to this thing. Object process. Transferring credit. Great, let's let's get them all moving. Wow, yeah, that was definitely what happened. Sonic rings. That's the mood right now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Uh. All right. There we go. <sighs> oh, yes. Scare damaged. Like, why? <laughs> it scans. Material deposited. Account credit applied. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna just one, be one second while I take off this hat. I need. I need to focus. I need to focus on putting away all this garbo. Yeah. Uh. What do we got left? It's like a little bit of processor stuff here. Because if I get the rest down to just like, just to the stuff that goes in the furnace, I can just blast it without having to think about it too much. We're slowly getting there. I 
Uh, that's unfortunate. I was trying to be so careful. Like, I know, like, some of these small pieces and stuff isn't gonna ultimately matter by comparison, but... Yeah... Wait, is it just- oh, I was about to say, is it just a loose light that was, like, totally fine? No. Yeah. This is the energy of, like, playing a game on the Wii right now, <laughs> cleaning up this stuff. <laughs> just, like, I hope you enjoy picking up things. Hope you enjoy pointing and clicking. Okay, well, how are we gonna fucking do this? We have to eject the fuel, we can't... We have to eject, well, we have to eject the thruster, but we can't eject the thruster because it's attached via a pipe, so... Shift's got about five minutes left in there. Let's make them count. Let's, let's like, let's just trim this thing anyways. Because... I don't think there's anything like really explosive. We'll at least get the end cap off of it. It's really just the, the cryo stuff that we have to worry about, so that at least opens it up for when it's ready to come out. Um, the reactor is attached to the... All the stuff that goes into the furnace is like all bunched up away from a spot. <laughs> it's a line of sight to the furnace. Um, okay, so we have this. We can pull the door off of it. That'll give us our access to our coolant. We're going to just go. There we go. I just like angle it like this and just blast a bunch into the furnace, maybe. <laughs> nope. Never mind. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. <sighs> Gosh. Yeah. Anyway, so how is everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have like three minutes left. It's not really worth doing too much cutting, I don't think. Um, we don't have any power. The reactor's just kind of right here for now. The back end of the ship is definitely a thing. This isn't loose, so we have to find a way to uncouple it from the reactor itself, which was probably what this valve here was supposed to be for, but we have no power to it, so we can't do that. And this one, so this code, and I actually made a mode where you get 20 points for free and then have to live in a world with no fruits. Ah, <laughs> oh, sad times. I just pull this panel off, no. The thing is, is, I don't know if I can cut this pipe, you know what I mean? Like, I think that it might be a bad idea to try and do that. Okay, because the sooner we can get this thing open and like accessible from the outside, the better. Oxygen are critical. Whoa, my oxygen, oxygen shit. Are available for purchase at the master jack. And we have door, door switch and everything too. <sighs> I like how we managed to switch, uh, or like split this ship right in half, so that's pretty cool. Breaks, breaks, breaks. <laughs> there we go. Don't want more explosions? No, no, I'm good. You know, I'm actually surprised my health is as good as it is, considering I like blew myself up. <laughs> like. Like, in the most unsubtle way possible, I literally blew myself up. So, you know. I can't believe I fucking lived. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Pro 
probably I probably live thanks to my cutting like my cutting safety procedures that I was using. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Good thing I used safety. When I, blew up, when I blew up those fuel tanks. Safety third. Okay, we got some kind of bracket thing out here, which we could probably remove off the thing. Like, it doesn't seem like it's attached on the inside and probably would be okay to remove it. Um, let's, let's try it. Cutting point grade two. Okay. Oh. This is running our gun very hot. And also didn't melt the block. Alright. Okay, so these blocks are pretty sturdy. <laughs> uh, I feel bad about that. <laughs> It's a free repair kit. Uh, profits first, efficiency second. No, I don't care about profits. I just want to live. Uh, messing with, uh, I just want to live. Uh. Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%. No, I guarantee you that's incorrect. To always give 110%. No, I can tell you for a fact that this job, most of the, the most of the work is in the front end of it. I'm gonna just repair everything a little bit because I feel like we could use this. Uh, we have 39 tokens. I'm gonna just hold off because I think we're just like a point away from something I want. I think it needs 40. Laser, laser needs repair it was glowing a bit even when cold, yeah. Uh. All right. So. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. Okay. Let's let's see. Slowly, slowly clean this up over time. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. We're gonna have to do long cuts on this. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Because it is not wanting to go, uh, it's not wanting to melt, so... That's fine, I kind of figured as much, so... is fine because it feels pretty good to do these cuts so that is okay um okay this piece can probably oh it goes to the barge of all things I didn't realize yeah Neil links may own your dna but you own your actions <laughs> that was kind of true yeah this is fair i guess Okay. Melt that. Melt this. What was that noise? Melt this. Gosh, I should write more. <laughs> you do have a knack for it. There. That should... What was that noise? Why am I hearing weird noises? <laughs> I'm like, uh, don't like... Okay, so that should separate this big ring from everything else here. Uh, technically, you just put the whole ring right into the thing, maybe. Um, just take the whole thing down. 
I'm like, it'll probably fit. Don't don't pull the ship with it though, please. Oh, of course it's twisting. <laughs> don't don't nick that, please. Don't. Okay, good. There, easy. Take walk. Look at us go. Please don't bop the ship, please. Okay. We're getting somewhere with this. There. So let's go one done. Because okay, so how's this little like thing attached? Okay, we. <laughs> okay, something we can do technically is we pull the end off this because this is just sitting loose. So we're gonna do that just to gain. Oh my god, it's all one box. E. I don't even know. Oh, I have regrets. I don't. Okay, we're. Mo <laughs> Fuck me. Um. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna... So here's the thing. The thruster is somehow attached to the reactor. And now all the outer shell is decoupled. And it's gonna pull the... It's twisting the reactor inside the rest of the shell. This is not a good thing. You don't want this to happen. This is not good. I'm gonna just, like, pull it towards me a little bit. And maybe get it off the end of the thruster. Maybe we can maybe pull it downwards. How many grapples do I have? 12 down down that way. There. OK, it's off. OK, so now we're just going to pull it right into the processor. So that at least <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is like really, really bad looking. I feel like I feel like as I play this, I get progressive. I'm getting progressively worse at what I'm doing, but I know it's because you're giving me progressively more challenging tasks. So it's making it look worse and worse. OK, so you know what? OK, OK. I have an idea. This all needs to go into the barge anyways. So what if we take the thruster and the reactor? We separate it somehow from its thing and then we just pull them both down into the barge what do you think of that idea does that sound like a good idea we're gonna just pull this ring off we're just gonna try and get as many rings off this thing as we can we're gonna do that by going like Please don't catch, please, please. Look at that, beautiful. Okay. Look at us. We're. It's just. It's just like the most dangerous part of the ship, just hanging here, hanging out here. <laughs> hey, Rock, how you doing? We're we're. We're trying to remove our reactor, but I've decided to peel it like an orange instead. And this is what we're looking at right now. Also, I blew up like six, six fuel tanks. It was not pretty. I live, though, because I'm invincible. I am, in fact, not invincible, but I'm very strong. Yeah, like there was a lot of fuel tanks holding the ship together and I just blew them all up like it was nothing. Have you cracked your visor? No, actually, I didn't even crack my visor during the explosion. It was a big explosion, too. This is scary. Yeah. OK, so OK, OK, OK. So if I want to deal with the reactor, well, do you think this game is worth it? Absolutely. I love it. It's very good. I'm not even kidding. Because it's on Game Pass also, I might actually play this game back to back twice because I'm liking it that much. All right. So. So the reactor, we got to That's the coolant. That's the next big step. How is this attached to everything else? How are we going to get this out of here when when this gets spicy? How are we going to remove it? Um. Hmm. Well, my first answer is let's remove this light bulb. Yeah. Uh. <sighs> this game is great. I started a few days ago and I just want to play more. Yes, right? 
Okay, so as soon as we start removing coolant, this thing starts to melt down. We didn't remove the thruster, so that's all gonna... It's... So the idea, the idea with the reactor, from what I understand, is a class 2 reactor, you have to remove the thruster, and then you have to remove the coolant, and then you remove the reactor itself. The more things you do before removing the reactor, the more time you have to get it into the bin so it doesn't melt down. Um, we didn't remove the thruster because we blew up all the fuel tanks, which means there's no power in this end of the ship, which means that uh, there's no way to decouple the thruster from the reactor, so I can't do that step. Uh, the next step is to remove the coolant, and as soon as I remove the coolant, the thing is going to start melting down, so we need to make sure that this thing is... we get a path out for the reactor. So we're only going to be able to do, at most, one of the two things we need to do before the reactor melts down. <laughs> so, um, let's take a look here. Let's see, is there anything holding the reactor in? Uh, let's melt this. Okay. Uh, we got... what's this thing? Uh, I don't like being, like, right up against the reactor like this, but... I need to... This is scary. This is like, this is like claustrophobic. Like, if I was claustrophobic, this would be inducing claustrophobia right now. Uh, okay, let's see what happens if we cut this thing. Okay, so we got, we got a little... Something's loose here. I'm just gonna bump it with my head until it's free. You know, sometimes you gotta use your head with these things. Okay. Oh, it's just straight up a panel. Oh, it's a big, it's a big panel. Oh, okay. Um, sure. Just put it right in there. Actually, that, that wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. There. And that's getting us closer to being able to deal with the reactor. Um, once again, we have another panel here, so... <laughs> we could pull this off the end and just fucking pray that it's gonna work. Um, hey, Code. I'm really tempted to... Uh, recently learned of the Tempered Temper instance of 1956 featuring the USS Wisconsin, aka the Big Whiskey, aka the Floating Death Tub that destroyed everything in any general direction it decides. Oh, I see. Kind of like me, huh? Mm. Okay, if we cut the other one, that'll be another... They'll get that out of the way, and then we can... We can get to our work. Honestly, I think cutting this close to the reactor is probably kind of dangerous, so I should be more careful, but... A hell of a story, I see. I hate the fact that my gun keeps beeping and I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, no, no worries. Uh, destroys everything, huh? Uh. Uh, okay. Okay. And whoa, that's moving a little bit fast. It's twisting the whole frame. It's out of there. Okay. We could pull the try and pull this frame off, which would be pretty cool. Because if we pull this right out the end, maybe might be able to lift it and pull it off. Uh, oh, is it still on there in some way? Oh, it's working. It's working. Uh, I don't think it's gonna catch. Oh, it's gonna catch. It's gonna catch. Lift up, 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 up. Yeah. I'm like doing my best to just like keep this thing like elevated just a little bit as it's coming off here. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh. One. One. Where's my what? what cancel tethers. What? Where's my gun? One. 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 What? That was weird. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So that's off. <laughs> this is like the worst way to fucking deal with a reactor, I think, ever. This is... Ah, oh, jeez. A weaver doesn't like see me right now. Ugh. I know. Like, I hope... I hope... <sighs> This is hanging on 
via that one pipe. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Pew! Oh, crap. Fuck. That's not good. Uh. <sighs> Others. Hmm. 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 Oh, whoa. When I just fly by. Well, we're at least a, we got a level one goal. Um, Raw material deposited. Uh, Transferring credits. I see. Sounds like talents. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Okay, let's look at this thing. Oh, that seems bad. Like. On paper, this thing, this entire reactor is basically just like hanging on by this pipe right here. It's probably fine, but it's like it really, really feels bad that I'm doing it this way. I'm going to try and tether and lift this thing out again. Like just try and get these little like circles off. This is absolutely not how you do this, but with no power, I don't know how, like, I don't know what my other option is. So. <laughs> I'm like, y'all don't even know, like, um, like, like, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm stripping the ship, like, <laughs> I'm removing the... I'm I'm peeling uh, I'm just peeling away all the shell when like really I just need a small hole to remove the reactor. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, what am I doing? I don't know if I can take the safety panels off the side of it while it's like active like this, or if I have to wait till the coolant's done. Okay, it's not melting down, so that's uh, probably should have waited at least a few seconds to see if it was going to melt down. Okay, we're going to take the safety panels off the side of it. <laughs> a reasonable, a reasonable choice to make, right? I'm sure anyone who's played this game before is just like frowning immensely right now. The fact that I'm doing things the way I'm doing them right now, but it has no power. What other choice do I have? Just gonna, just gonna remove all these little panels, all these safety panels. It would be bad if there was safety. Yeah, it would be bad if we did things safely. Yeah, uh, thank you for the follow. Yeah. Can you imagine we just start melting down now? It's like, oh, end of my shift. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> become Homer Simpson. <laughs> Homer Simpson. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how we how we did how this happened. Good morning, cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. Today's weather report: clear and sunny, with a high of minus two hundred and seventy degrees. I'm gonna upgrade my equipment. Uh, nope. What about my work suit? Can I make it so I'm more likely to not die? Audio sync. Feels like a Homer <laughs> Simpson choice. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. It's definitely not. Definitely not. I can assure you, it's not a good choice. So it's sad. Um, overheating cooldown. 
durability drain. I think we should go for these ones because this is going to cost us money in the long run. So the sooner we can like reduce the durability, like or reduce like how much our tools are like running the durability down, the better. OK. OK, so we're going to deal with a reactor. I hope you all ready with the for this because Jeez, if there's anything, if there's anything I can say about this is that everything I've done so far is proven I'm not ready for this. <laughs> so. Oh, whoa. Ow. Caution. Helmet damage detected. Really shouldn't hit it like that. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. <laughs> I nicked I nicked the edge of it on the way by and that's all it took. This will put that in the furnace. It's it's money. Okay, let's see what we're doing here. We have to get this whole fucking thing in the furnace. Or in the um in the barge, we have one safety panel on the bottom of this thing to remove, so we're going to do that. Okay. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Okay. I wonder if this airlock is loose. It is not. Well, I know one thing. I did decompress the ship, <laughs> so... I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to make this like gap. Oh, look, it's only two contact points. Oh, hey, look, we, we saved the airlock. We saved one of the two airlocks on this end. So, that is sad. This is, this is. Take the. You can't take that. It's attached. Okay. 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 Let's look at this thing. <sighs> Might as well take this because it's not like we're gonna use the um, airlock at this point. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Why am I so bad at what I do? Oh, look, and it's an atmosphere regulator, which is definitely not going to work because I don't think there's any atmosphere left to regulate in this ship. Just just as my professional opinion. I mean, I'm amazed that they didn't break. They were that close to the explosion, so that's that's a good sign. Um, OK, we're going to we're going to melt some of these points just because I feel like it's a good idea. The whole thing is pretty loose, so. And I don't know if the coolant is going to explode my face again, so. I feel like it would be good to get rid of. Make sure that this stuff is going to be like. Oh, hey, what the hell is that? Oh, hey. Heat sink. I hope it doesn't sink. Oh, it's moving. It's moving somehow. Uh, okay, let's slow down our cutting. Let's, one, um, we'll finish it. It's probably not gonna like sink any amount. Something has to bump it, right? Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. This thing is all sitting loose. It is attached to this one panel here. This also goes, <gasps> there's cut points on this. <gasps> I think I know how we can do this. I think I know how we can do this. Get my stupid fat head through here. Ugh. OK, OK, OK. I think we can take it all in one, but I have to be very smart with how I do this. OK. <laughs> Fucking dangerous. I don't know how this is going to react, but. I mean, the thing doesn't have any power, so. <laughs> So if it all goes together. Eh, 
This is the only thing holding it in place right now. <laughs> this one cut point. If I leave the one cut point, we should on paper be able to pull the whole thing out the end and just put the whole thing in the barge. We're going to lose a little bit on some a few things, but it should be fine. So the question is, is can we remove the coolant? Okay. Okay, so the coolant is being removed. Hate when the gun gets like put away. It's not melting down yet, so that's a good sign. I'm surprised, actually. That triggered the meltdown last time, but it was also the thing had power, so... Maybe it can't melt down. Hmm, guess we're gonna find out. Okay! We're gonna do something dumb now. Let's let's see if this works. Bad idea. Wait, is this even attached? How is, how is this attached? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, did I miss that? Is that just a big block I missed? Get in there. It's not even attached. Oh my goodness, we can just pull this to the wall and then down. I'm puzzled how this is working right now. Okay, we're gonna pull it to the wall. Just a little bit, just... Just to get it moving. We're just gonna pull it straight down. It's not melting down. That was actually really tame. Huh. I expect it's so much worse. Well, that was really easy. That was like the easiest reactor I've ever pulled. Huh. Okay, cool. Maybe it was just because there's no power. Hm. Weird. In that case, maybe I should explode things more often. And this is pulling up and the whole thing needs to be pulled down. That worked, that worked. It didn't, it didn't even, oh, <laughs> it didn't even like, it wasn't even bad. I'm surprised actually, oh, it's caught on the thing. Um, <laughs> it didn't even, it didn't even enter, min it didn't even enter meltdown state. Oh shit, there's a fucking environmental unit going. Um, so this is all processor. We'll just cut it right here. I, I don't think it's going to explode. I... Yeah, I think it's good. Whatever, it's a coolant pipe. Nobody. Aww. Oh, pirate hat. I'm baffled by this, actually. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What is going on with the tether down here? I don't know what's going on, but I'll, I'll not question it too much. Okay. You know what? Could have been worse. I thought I I that, that was there was nothing to that. I'm really weirded out by that. Hmm. Gonna pop these light bulbs. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm, how to separate the stuff that goes into the furnace from everything else. Um... Is there a cup point in here? Oh, we can also get rid of this stuff, so we can do this. Okay. Just gonna aim it at the furnace. Yeah, under the walkway. Okay. There's gonna be some stuff that's supposed to go in the processor, but it's... Turns out that was... Wow, actually, yeah, losing losing money on doing that. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I don't need that. Okay, well, that's mostly good. Okay, let's see this cut point under the walkway. I'm gonna pull that out. I guess if there's no power to the reactor, it's not, like, not really a big deal. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Hopefully that'll just take the... Nah, it's... Yeah, okay, it's take... It's taking it, but it's also kind of spinning it. <laughs> there. There we go. Oh, there's a bunch that goes to the processor here. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. We need, we need to cut this thing. Cut it right on the walkway. Yeah. There we go. It's a little bit of loss, but this is gonna mostly go into the furnace. And this all goes into the processor. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, we did half the ship. Destroyed a door, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure that was. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna just use this in a moment to put on my. Oh. Put on my hat. Yeah. It's my pirate hat. Uh, well, that was much ado about nothing, wasn't it? That was not actually that bad. There. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, I guess we know how to remove these braces, so I guess we could do that, since that's relatively easy to do. At this point, I don't think there's anything really explosive left on the ship, so it should be pretty, pretty much just a straight shot, but do say so myself. Yeah. What if we can go down and cut that pipe? Yeah, who cares? Anyway, so good job on that reactor. Thank you. It was the reactor was inert, so it didn't didn't it wasn't that bad. I thought it was gonna be more reactive, you know. It was it was not reactive at all. Um oh, premium. Okay. Uh we're going one minute warning cutter. Don't be a hero, all right? Yeah, we're gonna actually. Can I just pull the whole thing? This goes to the barge. Um, uh, pulling this thing straight down is probably a bad idea. Uh, oh, thank you. All right. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm gonna go like this and like this and I'm just gonna go point. There we go. And one like this. There. Okay, that should let us get this thing moving. Okay. Well, wasn't... Hey, we're ranked 12. Yeah. Intermediate. I'm intermediately good at shipbreaking. Yeah, that's right. What you've witnessed today is intermediate. Intermediate skills. All right, just one sec. I'm gonna... Okay. Uh, Luke, how you doing? What are you doing in the game? Destroying ships. <laughs> Oh, this is the premium, yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, let's get back into this. Luke, welcome. All right. Good morning, shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to oh, success. what is this? New message received. If you love what you do, you will be oh, work on salvage containing power generators. Power generators are connected to industry breaker systems to manage flow and output. Salvage successfully remove the fuses at each breaker. Indicator lights on the breaker show the electrical level. Uh, fuses are safest to extract when at zero current. That makes sense. Once all fuses have been removed, the power generator will be safe to extract. Cool. Given my success with class two reactors, they should not even be put it. They should not be giving me any more work to do. Hey, code, do you ever just yeah when you're like, a bit? I do do it sometimes outside the stream. It's just it's just a habit at this point. Fortunately, when I say yeah, I tend to often say yeah, <laughs> which nobody catches. Everybody just assumes I think I think they assume I'm saying yeah. So it's it has not come up too often, Got fortunately. A bit of a surprise for you this morning, 52. Well, I, don't I want think a surprise. we should talk this through a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Something you'll learn about being a manager: always be pushing your people. It's how they grow. Now, I see so much confidence on this crew. I think it's time to bump everyone up a hazard level. Half. This is too soon. I really don't see eye to eye with you on this. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes you need an outside perspective on things. All right, Joseph. Go ahead and train up 52 here when they're ready. Uh, sorry, Cutter. I'll help ease you into this. Just let me know when you're ready to start training. Mm -hmm. We were out. Mm -hmm. Hazard level. Aw. Rabbit. Rabbit. Thankfully, the circuit breakers don't operate in 60 hertz. Oh. But no, I have Nyad. Nyad at the incorrect time. Dr. Shippy, fix my ship right up. Elevate your performance levels sexually. In 40 years, maybe you can become a real doctor. 40 years? What? Uh, why does Hal's face icon have a slash through it? Like, do they really just want to be sure that you know that he's a bad guy? I guess. Uh, gonna convert some data. Uh, uh, one stellar commission, govern body for most humanity, borrow meter for stellar conflict and platform for pan solar collaboration. Um, uh, I remember them reading this to us. The logo. We got four messages. How did we get four messages? Uh, the deployment of administrators, administrators is a worrying development as are the comments made by company leadership about our efforts. We want our members to know 
we will not be disilluded. Um, it's clear how much uh, authority administrators have. Uh, we're getting word that they can change rules, procedures, work certificates as they see fit, which is a major concern for safety and rights of shipbreakers. Lynx has provided no clarity or transparency with these administrators and where the jurisdiction ends. So far, they've been inconsistent in how they operate it. Operate. Uh, we'll share more info when we get it. Unfortunately, Hal seems to have fallen into that unpleasant trope of using unattractiveness to indicate bad person. Yeah, that's true. That's not good. Uh, stay safe, uh, respect workers' rights. Uh, hope is action, solidarity is strength. Uh, I'm going to save these because I feel like I can read those on my own time. And it's a lot of reading. All right. Unless people want, are desperate to hear, hear like more, more lore. I got two stickers here. Oh, uh, do we have another one of these guys? Do we have another one? Oh, right there. Place sticker. Place. No, I already have it. Okay, it's already placed. Yeah, fine. Okay, we have we have some we can upgrade some stuff, so we should probably do that. Uh, equipment, equipment is all looking pretty good. Um, once again, we're gonna probably just reduce our drain on stuff because the less stuff gets drained, the better. Yeah, twenty one. Because otherwise we're gonna be buying, we're gonna be spending money just on like repair kits and stuff, which isn't ideal. All right, so we're like halfway done on this ship. We're over halfway done on this ship. There's honestly not that much left. We just have to figure out how to decompress the ship without getting ourselves exploded. Um, this should just go right into the bin. I don't think I have to even look too hard at this. This top one's a little bit more awkward because it has to kind of move out. There we go. Should be fine, though. Let's attach it to that. What could go wrong? <laughs> and we're going to just like pull this. We'll pull it out this way. That'll actually work. There we go. Just to get it out of the way. It's almost there. Get in there. Get in the bin. Do it. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Yes, give me the credits. There. What? Who's spending all my tethers? Yeah. Okay. They just bump into. Oh. <laughs> More stuff for the furnace. Um, okay. So let's take a look at this thing. This thing is a lot of compression going on in it. That's dangerous. As we've learned, as we've learned yesterday, we want to be very careful when we're decompressing things, because honestly, it's like the scariest thing in the whole game, as far as I'm concerned, because you're likely to launch yourself out into the abyss, and that's not good. Uh like it's like I said, like, you could just tell me the ship is like haunted by an invisible force that could just instantly launch me and kill me, and I would believe it because it's how it feels when you're doing this. Those posters. Hard drive. Bag of chips. Hmm. Could I hit the switch? Okay, we do have power in this end of the ship, so that's a good thing. Uh, okay, it can't it can't pressurize this section because we have a big hole in it. Who did this? Jeez. Who could have did such a thing? Definitely not an intermediate breaker like myself. Clearly a novice breaker. A rank 11 breaker. 
Yeah. There we go. Um, okay, well, we can just start pulling things, I think. We can pull these cabinets out. Oh, there's like a pipe or something in the way. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, garbage. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if I could like get like get just enough to get my seven goal, but that's not happening. Dunk it. I don't know if it was an axe or not, but after upgrading my grapple charge push, uh, I used the close range to something very heavy and it launched me backwards at over 30. <laughs> Straight into the processor. Oh, wow. Well, it sounds like it hurt. Okay, we can definitely get this airlock because it is not attached to anything. <laughs> it's like, how will I depressurize this part of the ship? Explosions? It's strange. You know what? Despite like blowing up the fuel tanks and that was obviously the wrong thing to do. It did make a lot of a lot of the, a lot of aspects of the ship way more simple to deal with. You know, I think the fact that they built the doors behind the fuel tanks, that says a lot to me. I think this ship, I think I handled this ship well, considering considering that it was clearly assembled poorly. Like. Like, I think I'm doing pretty okay. Oh, we got a pipe here. I don't even know what, it's a coolant pipe. A light bulb. Oh, it's electric. Oh. oh, yeah, we got power in this part of the ship. I can't believe we did the reactor, like, as well as we did. It didn't, didn't explode. It didn't get me killed. Oh, the pipe is like, T-boned in the thing and it's not gonna, it's not really enough room to get the wiggle around correctly. I'll leave it for now. I'll take this chair though. Hmm. I mean, that's still like a little bit of a little bit of credit. worry about cleanup later um okay so the rest of the ship this is all open technically everything else is compressed so can i close this door that's the big question we can so on paper we should be able to compress decompress it by opening these maybe oh it Brace myself. There's nothing in this room. It was the safest way to do that, I think. Oh, that actually worked. Except the room we're in is pressurized now, but that's okay. Because most of the rooms aren't pressurized. Look at us go. Oh, poster. Oh, this is the little sidecar. I don't actually know what these do. What outer limits my work bay? Exiting ah! <laughs> ah! the work area. Ah! Ah! Oh god! 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 Ah! Exiting the work area. We're going on a trip, everybody. Ah! Ah! Open! 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 This is gonna be dangerous. Ah! Where are we? Where are we? Oh my god! <laughs> so anyways, um, ooh, where's my ship going? Okay. <laughs> Come back! <laughs> Where is it? Oh my god! <laughs> 
We decompressed the ship. <laughs> We're sending it to Mars, everybody. I don't even know how to bring it back. It's maybe coming back slowly. Like, uh, get back here. No. <laughs> bring it. Tether supply depleted. Ugh. Anyway, so. Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> Do you just explosively decompress the ship to launch it into a different orbit? Maybe. Just a little bit. As a treat. Yeah. Uh. Job's done. <laughs> Oh my god, it's all the way out here. What have I fucking done? How was I supposed to fucking comp- I thought I was decompressing it really well instead of just fucking sending it to fucking Mars. The moon's that direction, and that's Earth, so... Oh, jeez. Like... Uh... Is it moving? Bring it, see if I can get a little bit of movement on it. I can get it at least like a little bit in m moving even a little bit. It, it is not moving. Okay, well, we're working in outer orbit. Great. <laughs> Is the thing at least fully decompressed? Tell me that much, please. Oh god, there's like... No, it's not. Um... Okay, you know what? You know what? The obvious answer, the obvious answer. We decompress the ship in a direction that's gonna send it back into the bay. <laughs> Time for fun. Alright. This is your five minute warning cutter. Five minutes left. Can I decompress the ship in a way that's gonna send it in the correct direction? <laughs> right on the edge. Launch it in the other direction. So, problem is, is how am I gonna do this without? Outer limit has been Cutter reset protocol imminent. Oh, fuck me. What am I gonna do? Well, this is gonna be annoying. <sighs> Great. Um, how do fucking how am I gonna deal with this? What am I gonna What am I gonna do? I gotta move the ship, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, like. Because I think it's like right on the edge where, like, all the compressions in the sidecar, everything else I should be able to cut loose. If I'm wrong, how much worse could it possibly get? I mean, we made it to goal number four. I'm pretty impressed at how far it went. I'm, I am too. Like, how? I guess maybe I'm supposed to tether the whole ship down. It might be a smart idea. Just bang it with my head. Okay. Maybe, ugh, like, damn. Like I said, decompression. It's just scary because I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how I'm supposed to like get rid of. Like how I'm supposed to correctly decompress things. <laughs> Jeez. How many minutes I got left on my shift? Okay, enough that I should probably buy some oxygen. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. Best pirates I've seen. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cookie. Welcome. Warning. Critical 
Uh, it's a good thing my ship is in the bay where I can disassemble it and do my job effectively. No, no, come back. Please, I'm just like, please, I don't have much going for me tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You know what? Grab this thing, pull it. Because if I can pull it, it might at least like flip the thing around. Because it's like a cage on top of the end of it, right? I think it's working. If I could get the sidecar to be facing like... If I, get, if I could get the sidecar to be facing the other way, I could decompress the sidecar away from the outer space and maybe launch it back into the bay, but I'm just like, no, this is, this is all bad ideas. I really shouldn't be doing anything else. I'm like, it's all bad ideas. Yeah. Uh, Okay, it's like kind of working. Okay. Oh, it's caught on this big thing. Oh, it's kind of carrying the ship in, isn't it? That's not a bad thing. Okay. Most of my shifts seem to just be wacky adventures and not knowing how to do anything related to my job. <laughs> They, they gave me a they gave me a grabby gun and a melty gun and they put me in space and I don't know why. They said disassemble and I was like, OK. Relatable. Good morning, ship breaker. Links mandate a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Hmm, eight hours. Hmm, 32 points. Eleven, okay. So, on to the next shift. <sighs> what are we doing with this? This ship was a mistake. <laughs> this is... There's so much. There's so much that's went wrong with this one. You know, that's the thing too. Most of my problems are getting like exponentially bigger as I'm doing this, which is also kind of scary. I didn't just blow up one fuel tank, I blew up six fuel tanks. You know, look at that. It's actually roping it in. I'm making it work. Let's pull the ship in. It's at least twisting it, kind of. Okay, fine. Ow. Bang my gigantic brain on that. Ow. Okay. Let's see. One cup point. There we go. That should technically just lift right out. Should be able to cut the end off this thing. We should, we should be able to just like frisbee into the thing now. I'm just like disc. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Woo! Please, please go into the thing and don't miss. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, uh, no, the, the thing is hooked weird. Go with it, please follow, follow it. <laughs> it's hooked on like the fucking pontoon here. Uh. I'm just like looking at this thing and it's just like, oh, what have I done? What have I done? And I have to decompress that sidecar somehow in a way that's not going to get me zapped or not zapped, but launched into oblivion. Nice view of the moon, though. I'm like, I gotta respect that. I mean, the sidecar is small enough. What if I just like separate the whole ship from the sidecar and just carry the whole sidecar in and then just like decompress it by its. Oh, fuck. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I think did I just decompress it by accident. I think I just decompressed it by accident. We still have a sidecar attached to this ship. Hmm. I did it. <laughs> mission success. Mission complete. Well, we're just going to take this down here. Every everything I do. Blue means pressurized. Oh, I thought it was green that made, meant pressurized. I thought it was green and red. Red for like no pressure, green for pressure. Um. Okay, well, I mean, it worked. It, we got the job done. Air lock and atmosphere regulator, question mark. Not sure what it means by itself. Um, okay. You know what? <laughs> Going on a little journey. We made ourselves a little spaceship, just all our own. This is mine now. This is my little ship. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ride this little ship back to back to the dockyard. Okay, where where is everything? Uh, where is it? Okay, it's right here. We'll, we'll just clip it down here to the back wall. That's a good place for it to be. From there, I can like work with it. You know what? All we have to do is break the ship down into smaller pieces, bring them down to the back wall and uh, deal with it from there. This isn't as bad as it looks. There's no more pressure in the ship, so. Hmm. Um. Is gonna make it smaller pieces so it's easier to like carry down. You know what? Honestly, that was probably the best I've ever decompressurized. <laughs> like, decompressurized something. Decompressurized. I feel like I'm adding an extra letter there. Yeah. Like, we did pretty good. Everything considered. Okay, let's see what we're looking at. Cheating on blue, blue. Uh, I don't know what that means. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? Rel Ooh. Warning. You are approaching the outer limits of your work bay. Blue is the ship the Weaver gave you. Oh. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cheating on not cheating on the ship. Uh, 
Okay, we're just taking all the pieces and we're just piling it up over here so then we can deal with it more effectively. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This whole fucking ship just went total clown shoes and I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just like... I will, I will do what I can, that's what I will do. thing up this just got confusing now um pull the chair out pull this regulate oh, terminal off the wall uh, is there anything else in this uh Oh, hello. Mine. All right. Got another another wall terminal that we can take. Oh, oh. Uh, put a little bit of momentum on that. Considering everything, this isn't going terrible. Oh shit. Um Warning. Fuel levels are low. Pop the computer off of it. <laughs> There's one more computer to grab. Credits awarded. Give. Then we're gonna grab the whole thing and just put it right in the processor. There we go. Think about artistic interpretation of games. I think I might have made a game about hookups. Very good. Okay, the windshield can go right in there, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we're like we're like doing okay. You know what? Considering everything, how bad this one has gone, we're still gonna hit our six goal. Like, yes, that's because I'm using them. It's because I'm using them, brain genius. Collected a rod. I'm like, it's been a hard ship. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's been a hard shift. It's been a hard ship. Uh, I'm gonna get snippy with the computer now. Apparently. Um. Okay. Well, this is like this is like fine. There's like nothing left practically. Except for that piece, which needs to not be in the furnace. You're at Tethers, shut up. Did I just miss the storage bin on the thing? Oh shit, I'm out of Tethers. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey Mono Badger, how you doing? There we go. Oh. Um, we're gonna do oxygen, thruster fuel, and tethers. Do you think I made any money on this ship? Like, seriously. I'm really questioning it at this point. <laughs> I'm 
just take this little top hat over here. Get these things moving. They're really big pieces, so it takes a little bit of time, I guess. Do we have any light bulbs on the inside of this thing? We do not. Okay. Back to back to outer orbit. <laughs> Doesn't that bar that I mean you've made a good amount? Kinda, I guess. Definitely, definitely could have did better with this one, I'm not gonna lie. I guess just by yeah, I made the company a lot of money, at the very least. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. I can't believe we put this ship out of the dock. I didn't think it would be able to move out this far. How did I manage this? It's so far away. This panel's gonna like fly. Watch this thing. Look at it go. Can I only have so many tethers active for that thing? You're in the middle of something. It's now on time to skedaddle. Okay. So the whole ship at this point is, there's not a lot left. We might be able to do it, uh, we might not be able to do it next shift, but we might be able to do the shift afterwards. Removing, removing the rest of the hull would be a good idea though, I think. Yeah, I think tethers have a time limit, yeah. It's like a two minute time limit or something, supposedly. My shift. Yeah. Go in the bin. Oh, okay, never mind. I hope that didn't cost me a tether. Yeah. Okay. We just have to get the gold number six. <sighs> you know, considering we blew up the whole center of the ship, this isn't that bad. Wait, this one was a real task, though. Breaker. This is your morning wake-up call. Mm. Do my weapon, do my tools need any... Yeah, we should probably repair. I'm getting down there and repair kits. Uh, tough speed. I think going fast is a bad idea for me. <laughs> Can't say why. Have a lifetime two minutes, yeah. Can't say why for sure, but I just have a feeling. Just have a feeling that's not good, and I probably should not worry about worry about going fast. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh my god, this thing still hasn't made it into the processor. It's like, geez, get in there. What are you waiting for? <laughs> 
There we go. Okay. Um, we're getting down there. The big problem is, is really just like the distance that we're having to like carry everything. If I could have got the whole thing moving towards the back wall, that would have been really nice, but I don't think that's really in the cards at this point. Was that one still attached? Are we pulling the whole thing in? <gasps> this might be it. Maybe we'll move the whole thing. I think it's moving the whole thing in. Good. Hey, it's light enough. Good. Yes. Yes. We apparently left an atmospheric regulator up there. Nice, there we go. Making some progress now. Where'd it go? Nice, okay. get all this stuff moving in here. Everything everything considered not bad. Ah, not bad. Okay. That can go in there. This can go in there. Uh, this can go in there. There. Processing valuable deposit. Okay. And this is at least in a place where I can work on it, so that's good. Okay, let's remove some of these things. Battery. Door panels, lights, yeah. Anyways, but yeah. Uh, hmm. hmm. What day is today? Is it Friday now? Someone tell me it's Friday. Okay. I don't think there's any anything that we have to worry about as far as decompression goes. We've firmly decompressed everything, so that's good. Well, it's Thursday night stream, Friday morning. Okay, good. Nice. So this panel has to go down that way. Oh, it's still attached. That's okay though, because honestly we need the needed away from all this stuff anyways. Get out of the way. This can go down here. Still another airlock to remove. It's kind of tangled on this whole thing, isn't it? It's like slowly moving. It's moving in the right direction though. That's the important part. Yeah. Uh, light bulb. You back only making interesting new game modes in Snake. Oh, very good. Hey Jelly, how you doing? Um, we're gonna go around. There's a cup point. And when we cut this, it should just take off. There. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. And that goes in the furnace. The rest of this goes in the furnace, except for the airlock and the little parts. So we'll take this stuff. Almost at level six. It should be level six, probably when that goes in the 
processor. Doing pretty well, I've been playing Divinity 2. Okay. I only know a little bit about that game. Uh, it's it's kind of like Diablo, isn't it? An ability to have multiple fruits, so I coded it to have one more fruit every time. So first is one fruit, then two, then three, and it kind of turns out what I did instead was make a bunch of ghost fruits that do nothing, and there's still one real fruit. <laughs> uh, ghost mode, excellent. Yeah, cut, cut. It's very tabletoppy. Oh, okay. Maybe it's not what I'm thinking of. Oh, stomach growling. Hope that wasn't audible. <laughs> oh, God. It's amazing how I could take like one pill on Tuesday and I'm I've been like well, feeling it ever since. Oh, that's going in the right place. Yeah, put a spin on it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Airlock console. What? 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 What did I destroy? How did this happen? Oh, fine, whatever. Yeah. Kind of like the closest uh, video game equivalent to D&D. Oh, I see. Mm. Pop more of these. Eat more. I've been trying, it's hard. <laughs> Like, I'm not kidding, like, I had a chance to get, like, I had a chance to stop at Subway, um, yesterday, and, like, I was just, like, <sighs> I was driving, and I was like, mm, I should probably stop at Subway, I've been so hungry, and, like, getting a little extra food would be a good idea, but I was like, mm, I mean, I had lunch, so, like, do I need more? And, like, by that point, I had already drove by, so I, was, I talked myself out of it, but boy, I fucking regretted it. I literally woke up like I woke up today just like just the most immense regret that I didn't like stop for a sandwich. Because yeah. like Cypro makes me fucking hungry. Someone said the exact same words of the day but about a uh, wilder myth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we got a big computer in here. At this point, it's just like, this is just, you know, just finishing touches on the ship. Hmm. Similar D&D &D in a different way. Oh, there's really bad. Oh, there's no batteries attached to it. Good. Yeah, that's just a table I can go in the furnace. Okay. Mm, that's not how the shape works. You gotta, you gotta go with me. Yes. Uh. Oh, whoa. Woo! Okay, I did a flip, and I don't know where I threw the thing. Oh, hey, it's a pipe. I w was wondering where that went. <laughs> okay, where did I... Th don't tell me that's the computer. Oh my god, I just did a flip and hucked the computer into... <laughs> Kaz, how you doing? Breaking those ships? Yes! We broke it into many pieces. Okay. Computer. Okay, good. Okay, we got the terminal. Oh my god, this has been- this- This whole ship has been such a fucking process because, um... Like, for people that missed the first half of this, I accidentally blew up six fuel tanks that basically just cracked the ship in half. Just cracked it open like a fortune cookie. 
And then in my panic, because I didn't, I, I cracked the ship in half. I was like, oh God, I have to deal with the reactor. And I tried to deal with the reactor as safely as I could by peeling the whole ship away from the reactor and just gently dropping the reactor entirely intact into the bin. I, I didn't like cool it down or anything. I didn't remove the thruster. The thruster was still attached to it. The whole thing just right into the bin. It, like it didn't even melt down. It didn't even go into meltdown state. I didn't even know the reactor could do that. I thought it had to go into meltdown state to remove it. So, um, it's been a day of learning. I don't think there's anything else in there. There's like a table and that's it. Okay. So, uh, and then, and then we accidentally decompressed the ship and almost sent it to Mars, which was a mistake. That's why we're all the way up here because the ship decompressed and flew itself from the bay all the way up to that ship way over there, pretty much. It was rough. Fortune Cookie said, you will have to work it out for you. Yes. Very much. It was, it was, um, disastrous. That's it. The ship is what door console. No. Oh, yeah, the door stuff that was a little valuable. Normally, that's something that you remove in one piece. Instead, we just melted the whole thing because let's be real. It was in a million pieces anyway, so. Another day's work <laughs> done. <laughs> Not not good work. It wasn't good work done, but it was work <laughs> completed. Jesus, get me out of here. I can't believe they keep me on. Like unbelievable. I didn't die, though. I didn't die even once. So once again, ah, oh, no, I bought oxygen that cost me. Oh. They would pay for my oxygen. I need to buy tethers. Damn it. We're shift ever. I'm going home now. I'm taking the rest of the day off. Dog me for three minutes for my pay. I don't care. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was that was a journey. That's what that was. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Links would like to share the following inspirational message. I don't want to be inspired. Get me out of here. Nope. Work work I don't care. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, so it was a little bit of a rough shift, but it was... I mean, we did it. Considering, considering the circumstances, I think we did good, but also, fuck that. Um, yeah, we need, we need to make our thrust, thrusters more durable. Okay. You know what? That was pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna save and I'm just doing one ship tonight. That one took a while. So cloning and uh and being numbered thing reminds me of Destroy All Humans. Ever play that? No. I've seen I've seen it before though. Oh no, I didn't think of an inspirational message to replace this one. That's okay. Yeah. But hey, we ranked up. We made at the beginning of the shift. We made a rank twelve, a rank eleven mistake, exploding the ship, and by rank twelve we did, we had a rank twelve success, cleaning up most of the ship, fixing fix. I can't say I fixed it, but I mean like, eh, fine, it's good. I'm like I'm good now. <laughs> Anyways, so that was that was a lot. That was a lot, a lot.